type 1 diabetes. It's amazing that it kills more people annually than AIDS and breast cancer combined, but you never hear anything about it there. And so we're on a mission to change that. There's a big also misconception between type 1 and type 2 diabetes, a major disconnect. And I'm just going to play a, a quick one minute thing by my good friend and well he's a great amazing spokesperson for us and I'd just like to share what Victor Garber has to say about type 1 diabetes. Just be real brief in one second here. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at the age of 12. I am proud to be a member of the Beyond Type 1 Leadership Council with a mission to educate, advocate, and support the path to a cure. Beyond Type 1 is using the power of social media and technology to connect, create, and empower a global Type 1 community, thriving together on our way to a cure. And then the big difference that everybody seems to have a problem with, we'll share with you. Imagine that. running a marathon on a high wire for the rest of your life. That is what it is like to live with type 1 diabetes. It is a constant balancing act, hundreds of calculations and decisions made each day, often with life-threatening consequences. This is type 1. There are two main forms of diabetes. Type 2, which occurs when the body cannot properly use insulin, and type 1, a chronic autoimmune condition, which occurs when the body's immune system attacks the cells in the pancreas that produce insulin. This leaves the pancreas with little or no ability to produce insulin, a hormone that regulates blood sugar. Without insulin, sugar stays in the blood and can cause serious damage to the body. People with type 1 diabetes must inject insulin into their bodies every day to regulate their blood sugar and stay alive. People with type 2 can often manage their diabetes through exercise, diet, and medication. People with type 1 diabetes are insulin dependent for life. We don't know exactly what causes type 1, but we know that genetics and environment each play a part. It isn't contagious, it isn't caused by eating sugar, and it isn't something you can outgrow. Both adults and children are diagnosed each year in almost equal numbers. Type 1 doesn't discriminate. We don't know yet how to cure type 1, but scientists, engineers, and physicians are approaching the problem in a variety of ways. People with type 1 can go anywhere, be anything, live beyond their diagnosis. It just takes planning and a bit of extra gear.